Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Total Biscuit. I'm here to ask and answer one simple question. WTF is capsized? This is a game by Alien Trap, who I've never heard of before. I think this might be their first. And it is an action platformer based in a hand-drawn world. And basically what happens is you crash landed your ship on an alien planet and you got to blast your way through in order to get out. It features 12 levels, which are supposedly very large and also apparently non-linear. We'll find out just how true that actually is. So we'll be going into this game very shortly as soon as I get it nicely lined up on my screen. There we go. All right. So this game features a campaign as well as several modes here. Bot match, time trial, survival, armless, which is no weapons. It's a little dodgy. And also, you can play local co-op and local versus in this game. There is a gamepad mode, but it also has mouse and keyboard controls, which seem to be fairly simple. So without further ado, let's get right into it, shall we? This is the first place. I'm gonna start on medium. Sounds reasonable. Now, since this is an indie game, as you saw right there, they have to actually save money on letters, so in fact, as opposed to easy, it's Essie, Med, and Herd. I'm gonna play it on Med. Sounds reasonable. Explore the alien planets. Okay, off we go. Right, I have a laser gun, which has no sustained fire. Okay. Fair enough. My first comment on this was, this is a really pretty looking game, isn't it? Oh, and also you have a grappling hook. That That's kind of handy. That's how to fire. Okay, very cool. There we go. Death to... Oh my god, it's Banelings! Kill the Banelings! So many Banelings. Much better. I have to wonder what was in the other direction, actually. Oh, there is stuff in the other direction. Or is there? Can I get over this? I take it... That's a no. No, I can. They did say this was kind of non-linear, so I have to wonder if there's actually anything up here. Is there a secret up here? There appears to be some kind of rudimentary physics engine as well. I can push a rock around if I like, but I don't think there's anything here. I, I wouldn't call this machinarium level of amazing graphics, but it is it is nice. I mean, it really, really is. Animation quality, however, does seem to have suffered as a direct result of going with this hand-drawn effect. I mean, it's not a big deal. It's just something to keep in mind. If you decide to do a game whereby you have hand-drawn design, great, absolutely wonderful. But just bear in mind that other things may suffer. Alright, okay, so there's nothing up here whatsoever. Can we pull this out of the way? Yes, we can. There we go. So it is a dual purpose kind of thing. Fantastic. I don't know what that is. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Banelings. did get off me. Thank you very much. Not having any of that nonsense. There we go. I don't know what this middle mouse button is doing. Not a clue. Can I charge? Oh, cool. I can charge a shot as well. That's kind of neat. So I do have a few options here. What is this? That is a life. Oh, wow. Something actually has lives in. That's a little bit retro, isn't it? Sad that I would even have to say that. Okay, don't go in the green goopy stuff. Point taken. Go. Much appreciated. Right, that's the gravity ram, which assume... Yes, it would ram things with the gravity. Color me not so shocked by this revelation. So, I don't need any lives, so I'm fine here. That's good. Excellent. Blast the way through this. This weapon is kind of awful, and I'm looking forward to something that I don't have to click a lot. Because, you know what? Clicking a lot in games like this is kind of irritating. It's not ideal. I'd like to be able to just hold it down. Right, well, since we did that... Might as well go and take advantage of these health packs. There we go. Now, if you want to know how much this game is, it is $10, or I mean, £5.39 at the moment, so it's not exactly what I'd call an expensive game. I just want to see kind of what the weapon selection of this is, really. There's supposed to be quite a lot of different weapons. Oh, and I could also throw... Wait a minute, that's the same key as last time. Throw a shift. Is it right shift? I hope it's not right shift, because that would be a very, very stupid thing. Ah, I see. Not entirely sure what I'm supposed to do with it, but hey, I have a thing, and I'm not afraid to use it. Fear me, giant strawberry. Ah, strawberry bees. No. Get off strawberry space bees. Just leave it. Get to Thank you very much. I'm not really sure why I have that. Maybe I have to use it to get through here or something. That kind of makes sense, I guess. 
Gravity Ram has done precisely nothing of note. Can't pull that out of the way. Either that or I have to sort of shoot it through this area. Well, apparently that caused that to explode. Don't know why, but it did. And I can also fling it around. No problem whatsoever. There we go. That's a good way to get through here. With the exception of the fact that it doesn't go any further than this. Although one would imagine that will work the same at the top here. Come on. Come on. Come with me if you want to live. <sighs> Inanimate objects. They're not ever convinced by that argument. I cannot imagine why. Right. There we go. Much better. Fantastic. Problem solved. Very, very basic puzzle solving elements. It's always the way, isn't it? We can't break through it that way, so... Can we attach to it and drag it? Yes, we can. There we go. Ah, uh, it's not going far enough. Out of the way with you, thank you. Fantastic. So far, not a huge amount to report in this game thus far. Although, it looks like I've just got a weapon. That's cool. Oh, thank God, a gun that actually fires. What a wonderful thing to give me. And I have an alt fire mode. Oh, it's a shotgun and a machine gun. How very convenient. Extra life. And you can wall jump as well, which is to be expected. Kind of Metroidvania style game going on here, mixed in with a little bit of that old Apogee game, Apogee. If you remember that one? It was by the name of Abuse. Really good game. Very good game. Nothing wrong with having games like that. Oh, a jetpack. Now the game suddenly got even better. Ah, so many space banelings. Wait a minute, what? The That's redundant as hell. A space baneling? All banelings are in space. Go on. Off you go. Just cooperate with me for a second. I'll put that out of the way. There's something over there. Can I actually make my way through this or what? Ah, it's one of those secrets. It's not much of a secret, is it? The secret is you can actually walk through that wall, even though you can blatantly see that's what's supposed to happen. How wonderful. More bullet. Space banelings. No. Get off. My god, these guys. There we go. See, now the game's sort of gotten a bit interesting now that you have jetpacks and laser guns as opposed to sort of jumping around like an idiot. And that would be the exit to level one. There you go. This game also has these sort of comic book art scenes. Evidently, I didn't do... S well, did reasonably well. I only got... Hang on, I thought it was Secrets 1 of 1. Oh, it's a secret secret, I see. Reasonable score. Nothing amazing, but hey. So you got a campaign stat screen there as well. I'm gonna skip along to the next one. See if there's anything else. I mean, this game seems fairly good. It's not gonna set the world on fire or anything. It's it's a reasonable Metroidvania style game with a nice choice of graphics. Gunplay now seems to be pretty good now that I have a weapon that can all fight. You can also kind of swing around like this. That's kind of neat. That reminds me a little bit of, sort of Earthworm Jim and a bit of worms going on there. Okay, that, yeah, that throws away a lot of bullets. Let's try and avoid doing that whenever possible. I like that. There seems to be space to explore, which is actually what it promised. Now, that, that level was fairly linear, honestly. There wasn't really any way to do it, as far as I could tell aside from that one, so... Not seeing the non-linearity just yet, but I have a feeling as we go through the levels, that will change. Now, I don't know how long this game is. I mean, if I would maybe estimate a couple of hours. But it does seem to have some replayability. It does have that co-op. It's got the armless mode, time trials, a deathmatch. The local co-op is interesting. Obviously, I can't really try that right now. Foreveralone.jpg. But, you know, I, I see that as being a reasonable addition, certainly. I understand why indie games can't... Ooh, that looks nice. I should really go up there. I understand why indie games can't always come up with a online co-op system, because it's actually kind of hard. You know, it's it's expensive. It requires a lot of energy and development time. Also, you guys need to go away. Ah, I'm dead. Is it going to respawn me here? No, it's going to respawn me all the way back up there. Why? Who the hell knows? Nobody has any idea. Unless that was... Was that the actual start of the level? I don't think it was. I think it was before that, wasn't it? But I don't know. All right. Okay, so angry bees. Let's eliminate those. There's no way through that. So either it's from that side or from a, above. I do not know. 
I, I, I can't really pick all that much fault with this game so far, which is, is certainly good for the developer. For what it is, it's fine. It just, it doesn't really have anything particularly unique that I can see beyond what other Metroidvania or Contra-style games seem to have. Ah, a blue spray thingy. I like the fact that everything has an alt fire, that's cool. I like the fact there seems to be a large weapon selection, certainly. I think if you are looking for a game like this, you could certainly do a hell of a lot worse than capsized, without question. Also, apparently don't cause those to fall on you, because that's a terrible idea. Now I know this, and knowing is half the battle. So yeah, I would say, I wouldn't call it decidedly average, I certainly think it's it's a cut above what I'd expect from an indie game like this. I think the music really helps, I think the whole vibe of the game really helps. I think the graphic design really helps to make it something a little bit special. Aside from that, it is a good, solid, functional indie title that isn't going to cost you very much, and if a Metroidvania game is what you're looking for right now, you could certainly do a hell of a lot worse. So, thanks to Alien Trap for this one. Looks like they've done a solid job, and I think this was actually a call-up effort between two people, so that in itself is fairly impressive. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Total Biscuit, and that was a look at Capsized. I'll see you next time.